Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have come up with a new requirement. So as you can see on my screen, I have a table visual where I'm showing sales, cogs and profit by country. And these numbers are in dollars. And we have a slicer up here where we have an option to change between dollar and Indian rupees. So currently the dollar is selected. So you can see these numbers are in dollars. And in the column name as well, you can see there is dollar icon. So if I change this currency to Indian rupees, see our column names are changing so now there is a rupee symbol beside the sales cogs and profit and the values are also converted to indian rupees so in this video i'm going to show you how to achieve this solution so let's start the video as you can see on my screen and uh, we have a table visual having country and i'm showing uh, sales cogs and profit measure which is in dollars now i have to create a slicer for dollar and rupees so that I can switch between those two values and simultaneously the values in the table and the column names both should change accordingly. So for this first we will have to create a field parameter. So let's go to the modeling new parameter and choose field. From here uh, let's keep the name parameter and let's go to this all measures and choose sales cogs and profit so you can see these measures which is not having any symbol these are in dollars we also have different measure which is in rupees we are not going to use it here i will show you how to use it so for now we don't want this slicer on the page so let's create this field parameter so we can see this field parameter is created now what if i remove the sales cogs and profit from this table and instead of this measure i'm going to use this parameter it will show us the three columns which are part of the field parameter so we are seeing the sales cogs and profit which are in dollars so let's go to the table view now and here we can see the three columns are created as part of this field parameter which has parameter name parameter fields the measure fields and the parameter order so here I'm going to categorize these three columns as dollars and create new three categories for uh, rupees. So basically I'm going to create a new column. To create this here we can add a new column by adding a comma and uh, this will be dollar. So this will create a new column. So this is basically a table constructor which has one, two, three columns. Now I'm adding a fourth column. So let's add this in the three rows so i'm going to add inside the bracket and here as well so now if i click on enter you'll see a new value for column is created having the dollar values as we have hard coded this dollar value in the fourth column so this means for this dollar these three measures are going to be selected now we are going to copy this three rows i'll add comma here and add these three uh, rows again and so for a dollar I'm going to say sales dollar uh, let's copy this so that it will help us to change the column names for dollars it is fine now for these we will have to make it rupees we'll have to uh, to add the rupees symbol so to add the rupees symbol let's click on windows dot and go to the symbols and here we can find this rupees icon so let's copy this rupee icon and paste it here and here as well so i'm going to copy this and paste in the cogs and paste in the profit as well now if i click on enter so it's showing uh, that it has created three rows for dollar and three rows for rupees and these are the column names now we'll have to change the measure so we have this uh, rupees measure as well we are just multiplying it by 86.3 to convert the dollars to rupees so i'm going to say sales rupees cogs rupees and profit rupees now it will take these measures and i'm going to order uh, it correctly so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so now uh, it is ordered correctly and it is choosing the correct measure. So for these dollar values, it is taking the dollar measures and showing the dollar column names in the parameter name. And for rupees values, it is choosing the correct rupee measure and showing the correct column name with the rupee symbol. Now let's go to the report view and add a slicer. Here I'm going to choose the new column value for and i can choose dollar rupees i can sort it from here sort axis so here if i choose dollar you can see the values are showing in dollars and if i change it to rupees uh, the values are converted from dollars to rupees and the column names are also converted from dollars to rupees so i hope you found this video unique and useful 
If you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.